Go to the layer menu in Affinity Photo and go to New Fill Layer. Then apply a gradient. I'm just applying a gradient from top to down here to the bottom here, and it's white and black. You can set that by just going, clicking up here and just set the values there. Once you've done that, you can then convert it to a raster layer or pixel layer. So layer and rasterize. So that's done. Now I'm going to turn it into a pattern. So I'm just going to go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And now with that, I can remove the other one. Don't want that one. Go to the move tool and I can resize it. But what I want is set this mirror option. So I'm just going to set that on and you can see design there and you can move it around. You can resize change it in a number of ways. I'm just going to go for more a square design than there. What I can then do is also I can apply some filters because the thing is with the mirror, it just makes it nicer. I think if you go without that, it doesn't look as good. So filters and distort and twirl. You can see a nice twirl design straight away very quickly. Now, of course, if you don't get that, you have to quickly work, try and get that. You can change the settings then you can just set that to 720 and you can also set the radius and you can modify it in all kinds of different ways so i'm just going to set it that's the sort of design i want well, once i've done that i can click apply and also what i can do i can duplicate this design it's still going to be a pattern layer so layer and duplicate and now i'm just going to move it but also i'm going to go over here to the layers and i'm just going to go down here and i'm going to go for exclusion or Ah, difference is perfectly reasonable as well. Either one. And you can move it around. You can see the design then. And you can get some really very nice sort of structured design like that. Now, what you can also do, you can select both of those and you can go to layer and merge selected. And they should, of course, end up looking much the same as before. And you can resize that. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to say select and I'm going to go for tone range and I'm going to go for select mid tones. You maybe want to go for select shadows. Just try them. You might find one's better than the other. So select mid tones and you've got that. And you can see the selection now in that central part. That's the pattern. That's the only bit that's selected. Obviously, it's all selected, but it just you don't see it. So now what I can do, I can go to edit and copy and I can paste. So now it's pasted. Now this design is exactly the same. It's still a pattern, weirdly, I must admit. It is odd that it's still a pattern, but that's what it's done. And with that one, I can actually go down here. I'm just going to deselect it now. It looks the same. It looks the same. At this point, you can't see any difference. But you can go to Effects, and you can go to, say, 3D. Click there, and you can see what happens. You get this lovely depth design there. And you can modify the settings, radius, etc. Change the specular. You can go there. Maybe change that and you can just tweak it. Maybe like that. I think that looks nice. And that's it. So you've got a lovely pattern design there. You can obviously deset and you can, of course, resize that, modify that as well. Now, if you resize that, you can see what happens. It's just obviously not connected with the other one. So what you can do, select both and then you can go to layer and merge selected. Often a subtle change when it, when it does that merge selected, but it generally it's okay. It looks much the same. And now you've got this lovely pattern design, which you can resize, and you've got some lovely depth to that design. Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.